Hey, how's it going YouTube and RC Groups? Blaze here on another snow day creation. Um, I recently watched a uh, YouTube video on this uh, jet-powered biplane. It's a screaming Sasquatch uh, Waco. And uh, that thing was amazing to see. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Um, I'll go ahead and provide a link to the uh, video on my uh, video info section. Uh, let's go take a look at what I've made. Appears to be a regular pits until you take a look at the undercarriage. That is a UMX Habu EDF mounted to the underbelly. I created a thrust tube made out of a plastic report holder and went ahead and shaped it and spray painted it black to match the EDF. I thought I'd run it up so that way you guys can uh, hear the sound but um, I also recently just found out that you can bind multiple receivers to the same protocol so long as both are uh, in their bind mode and uh, if you have a DX6, it's really simple. It pretty much follows the same process as a normal bind. Um, you just have two receivers running. In this UMX pits, I actually have a F16. It was a spare brick. Um, I mounted it on the inside, and you can't really tell that I even opened it. So I'm going to go ahead and use RC Babel. Rogers uh, Hyperion 2S330 milliamp batteries. It's going to take two of those to run this because I will be running one to the UMX F16 receiver as well as uh, another one to the UMX Pits main receiver. So let's go ahead and get that thing started. We've got uh, Rogers 2S330 milliamp babble bats in here and uh, like I said before one of those runs the UMXF16 receiver board that is powering the uh, UMX Habu EDF mounted under in the underbelly and uh, the other Hyperion 2S330 is running the main unit which runs the outrunner here um, both are bound to the same protocol on my DX6. Um, very simple process and uh, let's go ahead and put this back on. Can't really tell that anything's different about it. Let's do a little flight control check here just so you can see that uh, everything runs as normal. So you've got the um, aileron got the elevator and you got the rudder. So I'm going to go ahead and set my transmitter down and I'm going to start the throttle. But I'm going to have to hold on to this because this thing is going to take off if I don't. I remember running this for the first time. It was actually strong enough to actually knock my clock on the other side of my room off and scare the cat. So, this is gonna be a little tricky. I may actually have to set this down and uh, run this here with both hands. All right, here we go. Hopefully the uh, sound will come through on the um, iPhone here. That's pretty loud. Let's try that again. Okay, one more time. 
you have it. UMX Pitts S1S EDF Special Morgan. Hoping to take this plane out for a maiden flight here um, in the next couple days. Right now we still have over uh, about a half foot of snow to thaw, but uh, these upcoming days it's supposed to be uh, super warm, so hopefully it thaws out. The flying field should be ready here, and uh, that's pretty much about it. So wish me luck. Hopefully I don't kill this plane on the maiden flight. And uh, that's all for now. Thanks, YouTube.